Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Your key to the week this week is the Lovers card. So you have some choices to make here, my dear Aquarians. Over the course of this week, in all of these different areas, you are going to have big decisions to make this week. And I kind of get the feeling that for a lot of you, some of these might be really pivotal decisions that sort of uh, either change the course of your future in some way, shape or form form or at least start to get immediate results. So some of these could be really great choices, some of them could be really easy ones, but potentially a couple of them could be quite challenging. Now, that being said, remember it is the lover's card, so love, relationships, partnerships, all manner of connections on that personal level are going to be at the forefront over the course of this week. So, <clears throat> Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your, key, uh, your actions and options this week, you have the Seven of Cups. So I am going to say this to you. This is not a week to add more to your plate. Work with what you have, finish what you've got, what you've already started. This is not a week to add more stuff or new things. This is a week for you to really home in on creating the best that you have. Now in terms of uh, the best that you can out of what you have. Uh, now in terms of the Seven of Cups here with the Lovers card, the choice that you may have to face is what to, so this week you're being encouraged to streamline your processes, right? You've either got to take something off your plate or you have to say no to something that's being offered. And so the message would be here, <clears throat> Think about what is the most important thing to you at this moment in time. So what I like to do for myself personally, I too am an Aquarius, is I like to have any, like three things on the go at any one time, right? Uh, no more than that, because anything more than that, you tend to drop stuff. If, however, something new comes in and you think this is too good an opportunity to waste, you have to ask yourself, which one of these three, if you're anything like me, which one of these three things do you feel like is worth putting down at the moment in order to take this new opportunity that's shown up? If you're gonna add something to your plate this week, you have to take something off. You know, I'm really sorry to say that, but that Seven of Cups is not an easy card. Now, in terms of, the, that's like the options that are available to you as well. And that's the other thing with the Lovers card, because it has that Gemini element to it, it does very often represent um, options that are available to us. For your communications and conversations, you've got the Page of Cups. So you're having a lot of heart-based, heart-led conversations this week. For a select few of you, this could be around partnerships and relationships. When it comes to your profession in general, it does look like something that you've invested a lot of emotional time and energy into could start coming good. Uh, there's a lot of daydreaming going on this week, which I always encourage. Um, not to the point where it's like you're getting distracted and you're just in your mind about stuff, but good quality daydreaming to really allow your mind to turn over ideas, etc. This is highly encouraged. This might also be a week where you come up with a really creative solution to a problem or an issue that you've had previously. I love this for the lover's card as well because it suggests a lot of the choices that you have to make, you will find the answers through your conversations this week. So have conversations, allow yourself to daydream, be open to all of those things because that's where you're gonna find the answers this week. When it comes to your... Um, <clears throat> Uh, those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, look outside the box this week. This is something you guys do really well anyway as Aquarians, but this week do think outside the box. Think further afield than what you currently know or what currently is on offer or available to you in your experience. Um, what I want to say to you as well, because it's the lover's card, you might find that doing whatever you're trying to do, do it with somebody else. Find somebody to use as a sounding board, um, you know, to get your ideas out there. It's one thing to chuck ideas around in your mind and do that whole imagination thing. If you can do this with another person this week, you'll get way more out of it. When it comes to your, uh, those of you that are employed by somebody else, for some of you, you could be getting headhunted. 
For others, this could be a project that comes in through the work that maybe you feel like, no, I can't pass this up, it's too good an opportunity. And if that is the case, you need to ask yourself what you're prepared to put on the back burner while you take on this new thing. You will need to put something down because otherwise you're gonna end up, you know what they say, if you try to do everything, you end up doing nothing, all right? When it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, this could literally, I love the page of caps for, <clears throat> Not in the nine of cups way, but I love the page of cups for bringing in happy surprises. I also love it for um, potentially getting to fulfill something that has been kind of a secret desire of the heart. And because this comes up with the lover's card, Again, some of the options that become available to you this week could see you saying, okay, you know what, this is something I've always wanted and maybe it's something that I really need to go go for now, right? It's like you, you maybe you don't have any other choice but to take this on board and deal with the consequences later. Um, when it comes to those of you that are retired and no longer working, this is a lot of water energy. And with that seven of cups, I do wanna say to you this week, you know that saying too many cooks spoil the broth? Just be mindful that your voice may be drowned out by many voices this week. And so unless you can say something truly effective, this might be a week to just kind of let your actions speak for themselves. And silence is an action. For your love and relations, you've got the Ace of Swords. So if you're single, it's likely that you are meeting someone this week, but it looks like you'll be doing this through either over the internet, maybe on an app, maybe, you know, all of those kinds of things. There's something here where it is in a, an arena that is kind of familiar territory to you. And anything technological is familiar territory to an Aquarius. Um, what I will say to you, because you've got this opposite the page of cups, um, for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this could be where you and your partner are embarking on something new. But because you've got this seven of cups here, your partner might be really like overzealous about this. Like, no, this is great. It's gonna be amazing. Let's do it. And you might be a bit more reserved about this. And Aquarius is a, a relatively traditional and reserved sign. Yes, it's the sign of the future and progressive energy, but it is quite a, a, a sign that's known for, you know, a little bit, uh, being a little bit conservative at times. This might be where your pragmatism meets your partner's enthusiasm, and that could be a little bit of a problem this week. You're gonna to have to puzzle it out. For your uh, money and materials, you've got the Ten of Swords. So potentially here you are taking a financial hit of some sort, I'm sorry to say. Um, what I will say to you is, this could ultimately in the long run actually be very good for you. So it's like this week, maybe you're having to spend on something that you don't really see the results of until much further down the line. Um, even still, don't let that put you off. It could still be a good move, but it is the 10 of swords, which suggests that this week, it's like you're having to make a decision that you know financially is gonna hit you. And you're kind of like, ugh you know what, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and go for it. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, you've gotta look after your back this week. Really, like your back, your spine, um, specifically as well, your upper extremities, because you've got a double hit of that sort of Gemini and energy here. So really look out for your fingers, your arms, your hands, and your actual spine, like the bones of your back. Um, and then when it comes to your home and environment, I'm really sorry to say this, and again, I really hope I'm wrong on this front, but the Page of Cups coupled with the Ten of Swords can be the death of a pet. I hope I'm wrong. Um, it will be a small pet. It won't be like, uh, you know, and you get small and large dogs, you get small and large cats. Um, I hope I'm wrong on this front, but it is a possibility with that combination of cards. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.